Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to learn how to export a user segment out of Interaction Studio into your Marketing Cloud account. The Interaction Studio segment exporter automatically exports uh, segment data to a CSV file, uh, which can be done on daily basis. Uh, the exported CSV files are then saved uh, to an SFTP account. Uh, uh, we are going to configure an automation in Marketing Cloud uh, that will automatically load the CSV files to Marketing Cloud data extensions. Uh, so the first step we need to do is uh, we need to create an SFTP user in Interaction Studio. Uh, so currently we are in Interaction Studio dashboard and when we scroll down and we go into security and click on manage SFTP configuration. And when we click on create SFTP user, uh, give your SFTP user a name. Uh, let's say in my case, I'm going to give testing uh, demo and uh, we are going to select the data set that we are currently in. And then we are going to hit create. Okay, uh, now, uh, this is this one is very crucial uh, always download the CSV file because uh, once we close this uh, you'll not be able to view the password again and we will be needing it in our later stages so uh, remember to download the CSV file uh, once we have our uh, SFTP user created we are going to jump into user segments Uh, let's say we we want to export this particular segment form submission uh, we are going to hit details then we are going to go into setup then uh, over at the very right hand side you will see sync to other system so initially when you click on it uh, you would see only one option that is add to journey builder on join so you need to request salesforce or your account admin to probably uh, enable segment file exporter uh, once you have it enabled uh, click on segment file exporter uh, select the user attributes so by default user ID and segment membership are two user attributes that are included uh, additionally you can select up to 10 attributes uh, let's say in my case I want to export email address since we'll be needing that uh, and we're going to hit enable and let's just say for one time we click on okay we need to save hit the save button and okay now what this will do is this will drop uh, this particular uh, user segment into uh, sftp uh, once that is set up uh, now we are going to create uh, or connect our interaction studio to marketing cloud and how we do that is uh, we'll go into marketing cloud interface uh, over to your profile click on setup Uh, when in setup uh, click on data management click on file location so we need to set up a file location in order to connect our marketing cloud and interaction studio uh, hit the create button give your file location a name uh, leave the external key blank it will be populated by Salesforce uh, provide in a description if you want to from uh, location type select external sftp site and you know inside the url we need to provide the one that we downloaded so copy the url paste the url keep the port is 22 inside username paste the username from csv file and do the same for password as well Uh, one thing to keep in mind is uh, once you have specified your URL uh, what you need to do is you need to you know append it 
uh, your data set and the folder where the file will be dropped and uh, inside interaction studio when you click on feeds and click on sftp files you would see that inside outbound folders uh, all our files are getting dropped uh, so we will do that uh, so we're going to append <coughs> our data set name and the folder name uh, hit the save button Uh, once our file location is set up, uh, next we need what we need to do is we need to set up an automation. Uh, so head into Automation Studio, click on Activities. We need to create an import file. Uh, we're going to create Activity. Select Import File. Click Next. Give your activity a name. Add in a description if you want to and click next so over here you need to select the file location that you created earlier so in my case uh, we had created this one or uh, testing demo uh, so I have selected this one and your file naming pattern has uh, has to go something like this so uh, your interaction studio is basically dropping your files over here so it would go something like segment export underscore and then then what we need to do is we need to give the uh, basically the segment ID uh, which can be copied uh, when we are in we are when we are on segment page uh, in in the URL copy this particular code paste it over here Underscore. Then we need to insert date variables. So our file is being dropped in format that it goes like year. Then we are going month, and then we last go day, and just add CSV to end of it. It's very five. Everything is correct. Segment export. Okay. <coughs> Uh, keep the delimiter as comma uh, no need to touch on any advanced file options uh, click on next uh, next what we need to do is we need to select a uh, data extension uh, where we want to you know put the segment records so I have already created a data extension uh, where I have you know uh, uh, I have used exactly those three fields which I am bringing in. Uh, so those three fields uh, are like uh, user ID and segment membership. Uh, they are a must. Uh, they are automatically included. And uh, since I am bringing an email address, I have specified that. Uh, keep it as map by header row. I am going to overwrite uh, any existing data that sits in. Uh, click on next. Uh, okay hit the finish button once once your import activities and head over to autom automation studio dashboard uh, click on new automation we're going to create a new automation for this uh, give name as then we can schedule it to run run once uh, run once this is done uh, over from left hand side we are going to drag and drop the import file uh, we're going to select the import file that we created uh, testing demo hit done button uh, hit the save button and let's test it out if our data is getting pulled from interaction studio into marketing cloud uh, give it some time it may take a minute or two to run this activity uh, once your activity has run, uh, we can you know head into uh, data extensions and let's see if we have the data with us. So inside purchase data, uh, we have uh, some records, and you know uh, now these uh, this particular data extension can be used uh, inside any of the journeys. So we can head into journey builder. Can create a new journey. 
multi step journey I'm going to select data extension and let's say we want to send promotion emails to the list of users whom we just exported from interaction studio hit the done button and we can we can attach the particular automation that we just created so what what it will do is you know uh, it will pull in records on nightly basis evaluate all evaluate all records done button done and we can select an email uh, and let's select a message let's select an email for now Let's select this particular email. Con summary. Click on done. And this this is how you can use your uh, exported files uh, inside Marketing Cloud. Thank you.